What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. This video I want to show you the integration of x cubed times square root of x squared minus 1 dx. So I need to use int integration by substitution. So consider x squared minus 1 inside this radical. The derivative of it is going to be 2x. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take 2x out of this x cubed. So it's going to be 2x times x squared and divided by 2. So 1 over 2 times 2 is 1. x and x squared is going to be x cubed. x squared minus 1 dx. Now I'm going to define u as x squared minus 1. So du will be 2x dx. And then u plus 1 is going to be x squared. So it's going to be 1 over 2. u plus 1 root u and du that's what we have here du is 2x dx x squared is going to be u plus 1 and square root of x squared minus 1 is square root of u then I will have I expanded it here it's going to be u u plus 1 over 2 root u du or I can say 1 over 2 integration of u to the power of this one is 1 this one is 1 over 2 when you add them it's going to be 3 over 2 du plus 1 over 2 integration of u to the power of 1 over 2 du so then after integration is going to be u to the power of 3 over 2 plus 1 divided by 3 over 2 plus 1 plus 1 over 2 u to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 divided by 1 over 2 plus 1 plus a constant number. Then it will be 1 over 2 u to the power of 5 over 2 5 over 2 plus 1 over 2 u to the power of 3 over 2 3 over 2 plus c. Then it will be 4 over 5 u to the power of 5 over 2 plus 1 over 2 times 2 over 3. That's actually be 1 over 2 times 2 over 5. 1 over 2 times 2 over 5, yes. And here we have 1 over 2 times 2 over 3. u to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. So these two cancel out. It will be 1 over 5 u to the power of 5 over 2 plus 1 over 3 u to the power of 3 over 2 plus c so that's going to be the final answer what i'm going to do i'm going to change it back again to x squared minus 1 so it will be 1 over 5 u to the power of 5 over 2 is u squared plus square root of u so it's going to be x squared minus 1 squared root x minus 1 plus 1 over 3 x squared minus 1 root x squared minus 1 plus c so that's going to be the final answer to this question please leave me a comment if you have any question and get back to you as soon as i can don't forget to subscribe this channel i have lots of videos regarding integration and other topics in math and science thank you